guys, I actually filmed this video a couple weeks back over my birthday weekend and we were in Florida for the week and Stephen was doing some work down there so the whole family got to come and just spend some time together which was really, really nice. So I wanted to vlog one of the days while we were down there and just kind of show what we've been up to and just kind of that summer routine that we've been enjoying. It's been really nice to be able to start out most mornings kind of slowly just waking up and spending the morning quietly in bed with Lincoln since he is generally the first one up of all the kids and honestly guys this past season has been a little difficult um, in some ways I've been dealing with some just ongoing um, trauma and grief from my past and just some difficult emotions that um, have kind of come up just from some reminders um, from things from from seasons past and so um, yeah I've just really appreciated being able to slow down and just spend time with the people that I love the most and be able to just process and continue to heal and I feel like that's something that's really important for all of us is just to continue to be able to heal from those things. I think we all go through difficult seasons and it's important to be able to take time to slow down and process through those things uh, whenever we need to. How can I not smile when I have such a happy, giggly ray of sunshine in this little boy? He brightens our days so much and we just love him to pieces. And so one of the first things that we do most mornings is enjoy a cup of cold brew. This is our favorite brand, La Colombe, and I was super excited to see that they had it down in Florida. So Stephen and I enjoyed a cup of that and just took in the beautiful view on this Florida morning. And then really quickly, I got dressed and ready for the day before getting started on some breakfast for the kids. And we had a variety of things this morning. This gluten-free bread was really good. We'd never tried that brand before, but it's some of the best gluten-free bread we've had. And so yeah, just took some time this morning to make sure that everyone started out the day with a delicious breakfast. family you know that we really enjoy eating and so I feel like there's not a better way to start the day than around the table together enjoying a good meal with some good conversation. Oh and these cherries that we picked up from the grocery store were so delicious all of the kids thoroughly enjoyed them especially Lincoln the foodie. So the older kids opted for avocado toast with eggs on top, and that is also my favorite, so it was quite a lovely morning. And Lincoln was pointing to go out to the pool before he was even done eating, and so that definitely says something about how much he's been enjoying that lately. Stephen and I are always the last ones to be done eating after making sure all the kids are fed and uh, Lincoln was very enthusiastic to help us with that. <laughs> He's such a thoughtful little boy. And most of you guys know by now that watermelon is Penelope's all-time favorite and she was having some fun carving out a cute little design in the watermelon that we were enjoying. Time to head.
head outside and enjoy the pool. I can't even begin to explain how much days like this fill up my soul and just bring so much joy and happiness to me. Just being able to relax and see my children laughing and playing is just such a blessing and I'm so grateful for slow and easy days like this where I can just enjoy being with my family. started her own YouTube channel guys now that she's 15 that is the family rule is that you have to be 15 before you can start your own account and she's been eagerly looking forward to it so Stephen was helping her get started on that and then this is my favorite kombucha I've been enjoying I actually tasted it for the first time back when Lincoln was having his brain surgeries and um, I've just enjoyed it ever since and so we just sat on the patio for a while and watch the kids splash and play and of course Lincoln wanted to come over and share the kombucha with me so <laughs> before but some friends of ours own this beautiful home that we're staying in and graciously allowed us to stay here while they were out of town and so it's been such a blessing for our family to be able to enjoy and relax together for the week. went to go work from a coffee shop for a few hours that afternoon and he was working on the last couple of chapters of his new book and so we're really excited for him it was due to turn in the next week and so he needed to have some quiet time to focus on that and then of course I had to do some laundry because even on vacation with a large family you gotta get some laundry done so I was taking care of that for a little bit before starting on some smoothies and lunch for the kids I've shown this in quite a few past videos but we really do love our green smoothies it's such a great way to get veggies and fruits into kids and so um, that's something that we still do pretty regularly Penelope were hanging out inside for a little bit and so we enjoyed our smoothies together before making some for the boys and for Reese who was swimming with them but it was a sweet time to be able to talk with them for a little bit and just kind of hear what was on their heart and it was really funny because they'd actually picked up some Venus fly traps from the store the other day and so they were really fascinated with those it really was interesting to see how much they actually do move if you touch them Penelope actually had one when we first came home from China and so when she saw those in the store the other day she was like I have to get another one so it was pretty cool
so the weather actually changed really quickly and started pouring down rain so the boys rushed inside and got dried up before enjoying their smoothies and lunch. We kept it pretty simple with just some hot dogs to go along with their green smoothies and guys that's what I call balance and the kids definitely did enjoy it. And then Reese had helped Lincoln get dried and changed up before he enjoyed his lunch as well and he did a hot dog as well but he did not have the buns since we're trying to keep him on the keto diet due to seizures and he's doing pretty well with the seizures guys we're we're really thankful that we have some things that are working pretty well for him and he really is such a foodie that he enjoys pretty much anything that we feed him so that's definitely a blessing and as you can tell he was extra enthusiastic about his lunch this day he wanted to pause lunch for a minute and show you guys some love which I thought was really cute and then after all that swimming we were ready for some quiet time and this is something we do pretty much every day as well and so the boys were enjoying a show for a little bit and Lincoln watched for the first few minutes before we headed out to have a little nap time he still takes a nap pretty much every day and he really needs it he can't really make it to the very end of the day without getting super tired and a little cranky if he misses nap time so we still stick to nap time pretty regularly kids got to enjoy a little treat and I got started on folding all of that laundry. treat myself this is one of my all-time favorite flavors of ice cream and so enjoyed a few little bites of that and it was mostly gone so I just ate it out of the carton but looking back on that footage I was like you know what kind of looks like I just ate a whole pint of ice cream <laughs> And then I was doing a little research on some specialists that we are looking to work with for Lincoln coming up and especially because he is going to be going to a new school and new therapist this fall and so just trying to work out all the details on that and then ended up calling Stephen and asking him to bring home some pizzas for us for dinner um, and so Lincoln was really excited to see him. I know we've mentioned this before, but Grimaldi's is definitely one of our favorite pizzas and we're so happy that they had one in the area. Steven and I fell in love with Grimaldi's years ago when we visited New York and so we were very, very pleased to see that they had one here in Jupiter as well. 
And then, as luck would have it, it actually ended up being a really beautiful evening. The rain went away, and so some of us opted to sit outside and enjoy our meal together. And so that was really nice. And I really have been enjoying this kombucha that we found recently, and it's actually really tasty. So um, Lincoln wanted to cheers <laughs> with that. But the pizza was really good, and it was really nice for a little while until we started getting eaten up with mosquitoes. So we didn't actually last the entire meal outside, but it was nice while it did last. And uh, so then we went inside and Stephen was actually reading the last couple of chapters of his book to me. And we were having some really good laughs over some of the crazy stories that he included into the book. And you guys are really gonna enjoy it if you end up reading it when it comes out. It's gonna be, very real and honest and there's just been some crazy things guys I love my husband but he is definitely goofy and hilarious and over the top at times and so the book is gonna be full of some of those hilarious quirky stories of his decided to end the day with a little evening swim as a family which I felt like was the perfect way to wrap up the day and the kids were definitely going to be sleeping well that night after expending so much energy swimming and honestly guys I was just very grateful to be able to have had some time to slow down this week and just cherish these moments with my family and remember what's most important in life. So thank you so much for being here guys and for just sharing these special moments with us. We love you guys so much and we're really grateful to be able to share this journey with you guys.